We've got some uh, guests in the studio today. I'm happy to introduce Kate Magdalena and Pete Stringfellow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are we doing? Well, I wore my mask today. Good. It was the first day that I actually took it seriously because the air did not taste good, yeah. smell good. Yeah. yeah, we've been. But I'm really uh, happy to be here. We've been using the the mask as a fashion statement for about a week <laughs> here around. Yeah, here. yeah. You yeah, become yeah. so anonymous with yeah. those things on. Sure. Pete and Kate are part of the uh, North Bay Songwriters in the Round. It happens every month at Hot Monk in Sebastopol, and it's happening this Wednesday, although this Wednesday is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be raising money for the recovery effort. Absolutely. Yes. Pete, you want to tell us what you know about that? Yeah, you know, um, once it happened, we already we had this gig on the books for, goodness sakes, for months, mm -hmm. and uh, as soon as it broke out, we were all in a chat and just basically said, hey, why don't we donate 100% of the proceeds. I mean, it's, it won't be a lot. It's only $8 to get in, but, you know, every little bit counts. And it's going to the uh, Redwood Credit Union um, campaign. Fire relief, man. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. great. Um, we're going to try to get some T-shirts there that uh, you can get, um, that uh, you make a donation to the RCU Fire Fund and get yourself a T-shirt. It says Sonoma right. Strong. And yeah, 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 awesome. So we'll get that happening. Um, and I say this every month. Uh, every month we have um, two, three, or four of the songwriters that are... Right performing mm -hmm. and i would say eight dollars to get in that's two dollars per songwriter so it's a pretty good deal yeah <laughs> so, right. so when you think that the money is actually going to the fire victims uh that's a great incentive to come and see us absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. um another thing too uh hot monk is a locally owned business and um we like to support locally owned business yes we do um, i found out over the weekend that dean Birch's house is okay over oh. in sonoma good uh last Goodness. i heard anyway and his family is safe so um Let's start with you. Um, would you like to play a song for us? And maybe, well, for, first let's start with your history of playing music here in Sonoma County. Okay. Are you a local? Yes, I am. I live in Sebastopol, originally from New York City, but have been here for many years. Um, I started writing, do you want a little history? Yeah. Of it? Okay. So I started writing music uh, in response to some of the environmental disasters that have been going on. Um, I'm going to bring a term to the room that many may, may not be comfortable with, and that is the word chemtrails. When I found out that I didn't really think that the white lines in the sky looked so good or like water, uh, I began to write songs about them, and that put my music actually out there um, where I have, you know, it, it's been translated, my songs have been translated in German and French. Actually, I'm known more online than I am here, and I have not been performing, been hiding out in the recording studio, mm -hmm. and have a record coming out uh, very soon called Acquainted with the Night. So, cool. Are yeah. you recording it at home in the no, studio? No, it's or? with Jeff Martin over at Studio E. It's very professionally oh, yeah. done. Nina Gerber's all over the album, oh, and it's, oh, cool. I'm really excited about it. Nina and Jeff, good friends of the station, so we yes. love them. Yes. Yeah. Um, just a little plug. Yeah, my, my music's gone pretty high on Reverb Nation, and right now, supposedly, I'm number 15 globally on folk, which is crazy to me. But for whatever that means, uh, my music is touching people. So Kate Magdalena, number 15 with a bullet. <laughs> you want to do a tune I hate to brag. Yes, I do. Okay. So this song is called Backstory. Uh, this is um, some of the conspiracy theory, if you will, put in a song about um, what I call the shadow government behind the government. Okay. There's a back story to the story you've been hearing. It's a story men will fervently deny They will tell you that there's nothing to your hearing To hold on to your seat and stop your cry But there's a story behind the story you've been hearing hear it on the evening news It's a story made of lies and desperation Taking power by tricks and subterfuge 
Listen deep to the cacophony of voices For agendas that seek to catch your mind Condescending to your making of the choices And narratives that only seem to bite but let the rumors circulate around you And the voices of the people sounding loud Oh, the stories have been placed there to confound you To astound you and occupy your mind There's a story behind the bombing of Aleppo But you won't hear it in the anchor's lies There's a story behind the broken walls of Gaza And the shrapnel-studded ground where people die they will tell you that the fires of Sonoma, 9-11 and the school at Sandy Hook happen just the way the government is telling. They're hoping you won't dare to Latest men have concentrated power And the hands of the few direct the show And they'll warp the truth and wound at their discretion In the shadows so no one really knows and it seems reality can bend In the hiding of the truth that never ends Tell it like it is The story's yours to give Beware, it may divide you from your friends story you've been hearing It's a story man will fervently deny They will tell you that there's nothing to your fearing But get up on your seat and raise your cry Live in the studio here on KRCB. Whew. It was heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's a heavy song. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put it first on my album. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about the uh, Songwriters in the Round showcase that happens at Hot Monk Tavern uh, every month. And um, I'm sad to say that this is the last one. I know. Um, they're not going to do it for a while. John's taking a break. John Gonzalez has been putting this on for years. And he has yet to have repeated a single songwriter. Wow. In what, four, mm. over four years he's been doing this. And That's that, impressive. What that does is it um, really speaks to the amount of talent that we have here in the North Bay, including Mr. Pete Stringfellow. You've yes. been out and about all weekend. 
I've been out and about all weekend. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Um, helping out and doing what you can. I'm doing what I can. You know, long hours and uh, <clears throat> you know, working on the front lines, doing what I can. You know? And we appreciate it. Absolutely. You are bi coastal. I'm bi coastal. You yes, live sir. Uh, in Sonoma County and in Nashville. In Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, you bought your house in Nashville before real estate went crazy. I, I did. Thank, <laughs> yeah. thank goodness. Yeah. yeah. So it's been. It's, uh, it's great. Yeah. It's uh, almost expensive living there now as it is here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So. I own a home here and there, so I can't complain. How yeah. often uh, do you get it back there? You know, I used to be um, full time there, and then it went to two weeks there, two weeks here, mm-hmm. um, and now I'm out there when I need to be. Yeah. Um, I'm doing a record right now, so recording and all that. You know, I'm doing it there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many things I'm, I have going on there, like my publishing is there. Yeah. Um, and then I've got my um, Hollywood stuff with Universal, which is in Hollywood. So So you have an agent down there in L.A.? Um, I with? do, yeah, yeah. I've got a, a publisher that pitches my stuff to movies and television. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty nice if you can get um, your stuff. Oh, God, yes. It's, it's uh, Those royalty checks are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Beats Spotify, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, f- yes, yeah. Beats Spotify. And yeah. Reverb Nation. <laughs> and Reverb Nation, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm just one of the lucky ones. I get to do what I love to do, and yeah. that's music. Um, you want to do a tune for us? And is it sure. the, the tune that I think you're going to do? Um, you know what? I'll probably do that second. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Pete has written a song called Santa Rosa. Um, and as part of the Redwood Credit Union fire relief effort, if you go to that website, you can download the song, right? Yes, you can go. It's actually on SantaRosaStrong.com. You can go and uh, you can donate, which we really encourage mm-hmm. <clears throat> because, you know, this is this is a marathon. You know, yes. it's not a sprint. That's right. We need to uh, keep that going, keep the attention on, on the uh, the victims of the fire. And uh, so, yeah, the song is was written and produced and recorded and on the radio years ago. And uh, it's kind of had this resurgent right. of, of people listening to it. So, and I just wanted to give it away. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I took it off of iTunes and Amazon and just wanted to so give it to the people. The song for this event. No. No, no. This, uh, no. this wow. song is, what, five, six years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, I was just, it was one of those things where I, I've heard all these songs. I discussed this not too long ago about, you know, other places like, Alabama, Sweet Home Alabama, which is one of my favorite oh. songs, but I'd never been there, so I yeah. wanted a song about my hometown. And that's, yeah. that's what Santa Rosa came from. Well, let's hear a song. All right, now this <laughs> next song is one for my new record that's coming out, so it's uh, it's brand new, and uh, it's not gonna. I'm gonna keep it light. I was, I was gonna do a different one. I heard, and I was like, oh my god, it's so heavy. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> my next song lighter. is light. <laughs> oh, good. It's a Pete, great song, by the way. Oh, Pete Stringfellow live in the studio here, here yes. on KRCB. Here we go. This one's called. Um, Oof, well, the title's not so light. It's called Cold and Six Feet Under. (laughs) Cold and Six Feet Under. It sounds like a love song. Oh, it is, actually. (laughs) Here we go. I've been missing you since you left California. Waiting on the next call makes me feel alright My heart went with you to Louisiana I've been thinking about you morning, day, and night There's not a thing in the world that I wouldn't do To make you realize how I feel about you Like the Mississippi River, my love runs deep and true yeah, yeah, it's been a few years I never thought I could be Drunk on your love like Bourbon Street Stronger every day Through ups and downs Well, I'm never complete When you're not around, oh baby I figured out when you can leave me It's when I'm cold and under six feet Yeah, 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 yeah I know we both agreed, supposed to believe it's what we need to do. It's what's been gone, all been wrong with life. Oh, the pain hurts, I really can't live without you. So I'm jumping on a plane, gonna catch the next flight tonight. I still don't remember what was keeping me here. All that I know is that I'm needing you near Like the closer that I get the more things are coming in so clear Yeah, yeah, it's been a few years I never thought I could be drunk on your love like a bourbon street Stronger every day, to 
ups and downs But I'm never complete when you're not around Oh baby, I figured out when you can leave me It's when I'm cold and under I'm six feet Yeah, yeah, yeah bags are packed on your bed oh with tears in your eyes you turn to me and gently said it's been a few years i never thought i could be drunk on your love like bourbon street stronger every day through ups and downs well i'm never complete when you're not around it's been a few years i never thought i could be drunk on your love like bourbon street Stronger every day through ups and downs well, I'm never complete when you're not around Oh baby, I figured out when you can leave me Oh baby, I figured out when you can leave me It's when I'm cold and under six feet Yeah, yeah, yeah That is a love song. It is a love song. Yeah. I, I, I told you. Keith Stringfellow alive in the studio, uh, <laughs> along with Kate Magdalena, Mimi Perard, and Chris Haugen. Yes. They couldn't make it today, so we wanted to mention that they are the other two singer-songwriters that will be at Hot Monk in Sebastopol on Wednesday night. Uh, the doors open at 7-ish, 7.15-ish. I think the show starts yeah, around 8. I believe. Yeah. That's what they, they have and uh, it's $8 uh, to get in. The money goes to the Redwood Credit Union Fire Relief Fund. Um, which is a great thing that um, the Press Democrat, Mike McGuire, and RCU have put together, where 100% of the money goes to yes. uh, fire relief efforts. Um, and this is the final one, I'm sad to say, um, the <laughs> final songwriters in the round at Hot Monk. Um, so you guys are the headliners. Wow. All that's, those were opening acts pretty, for us. And just how, to how be cool with that? him, I'm, I'm really excited yeah. to meet you, Pete, and listen oh, yeah. to your music, too. Absolutely, likewise. Yeah. So uh, once again, you can get tickets in advance at hotmonk.com. You can buy them at the door and... Um, we're going to uh, try to get some T-shirts up there. You can donate and get a T-shirt. And, of course, your uh, admission, your cover charge will be a donation as well. Kate, you want to do another tune for us? I would love to. This is a, a very a breezy, easy tune. The it, I've actually set a number of poems to music on my album uh, from uh, Yates. This, this particular one is called Sea Fever, and the lyrics are by John Macefield, who was a British poet. Mm -hmm. um, do you have to share royalties? Well, hopefully not. <laughs> with hopefully Yates, public domain. With oh, Yates, I think it's public domain. I'm, I'm not. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll, we won't. I'll cross that bridge. Yeah. This is called Sea Fever, and especially now, you know, um, how how welcoming the sea would be to us uh, here on land and breathing in all of this. So. A lot of people head to the beach this weekend. So. I must go down to the sea, I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the wheels kick and the wind song, and the white sails shaken, and a gray mist on the sea's face. Gray dawn, breaking, breaking, breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying, crying, crying. I must go down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life to the gull's way and the whale's way Where the wind's like a wedded knife And all I ask is a merry yarn For a 
from a laughing fellow rover and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trip's over down to the seas again to the lonely sea and sky and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by and the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaken and a gray mist on the sea's face and a gray dawn breaking Kate Magdalena live in the studio here on KRCB. Be performing Wednesday night at Hot Monk in Sebastopol. So you don't perform out a lot. Are you going to? I'm going to. It is my intention, but I've been holed away in the studio, being shy and writing songs, okay. and feeling nervous about performing. You, yeah. so. you sound great. You yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you. Sound. Pete Stringfellow also in the house. Do um, you want to change your battery there, Isabel? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, Isabel's oh, got to change the me? battery. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my so we're going to chat here for a second. Um, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. You uh, also do some acting. I do. Yes. Have you been doing much of that lately? Um, yes, actually, I'm in a, a pilot right now, and uh, luckily they've, they've paused production for me to stay home and and, and help out where yeah. I can. It's great. It's uh, it's a fun. It's a, a post-apocalyptic uh, kind of western, I guess you could say. And I'm a bounty hunter, so I get to be a mean guy. Which oh, cool! Is, which is awesome. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool. Are yeah. they filming in LA? Um, no, it's south of here, but it's not LA. Um, there's different locations. Um, one of which is American Canyon. There's oh, okay. There's a whole yeah. area there that's perfect for this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Lots of green screening. There'll be some green screening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> some lasers and fun stuff like that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh and, no, it's it's awesome. And hoping obviously that it gets picked up, and then you're gonna have some pretty regular work. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, it it'll be great if it gets picked up. You know, um, it's funny because I was just in a in a feature film, and it was the hope. When we were filming it, we had no idea where it was gonna go. And it did well in festivals, and there was four major distributors fighting over it, which was awesome. And Sony ended up picking it up, so it was nice. really a really cool, like, ooh, cool. I like pilots. And that's the title, <laughs> The Hope. Um, What's the title? See, of the, the, feature the, film? the feature film is called My Brother's Shoes, and you can rent or buy it now. They, it's all out on everything. Yeah. Cool. It's a fun comedy. Yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a, uh, you know, a successful marketing guy, and and my brother is. Uh, uh, not so successful, very lonely. He's gay, and he's going through a bunch of stuff in his life. And, and my whole thing is I'm trying to have a baby with my wife. And uh, we end up switching places. You know, it's kind of like the Freaky Friday. Yeah. You know? And so I'm, I become in his body. He becomes in my body. And I'm this, like, homophobe dude. And it's just that's when it gets zany and funny. And it's pretty funny. Cool. So, yeah. And it's available uh, on demand? and Anywhere, yeah. yeah. Everywhere, pretty my much. My Brother's Shoes. My Brother's Shoes, yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Um, mention perhaps some other things that you have been in that we might have seen. Um, the show Nashville. I was uh, in an episode. I was uh, my name was Carl, and I was good friends with um, one of the lead actors, which I can't think of his. That name. seems appropriate. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. I got to play guitar, and you know, it was it was a, it was good fun. I'm actually when we're all done here, I'm going to go into a Buddy Miller song. So oh. Buddy Miller's been doing stuff oh, on yeah. Nashville That's, a lot. There you and, go. I yeah. love it. Yeah. No, it was it was it was fun. Um, Avery was is his name on the show. Yeah, okay, cool. I figured it out. But no, you know the acting thing is good. I, I you know, I'm really, I'm really lucky. I, I, you know, music is my love, and I get to do it. But, but I get to be myself with mm -hmm. music. You know, right. I get to when I'm on stage, that's just me. I'm writing songs about my life, what inspires me. As an actor, I get to be someone else, and I get to be part of a, of a larger vision. So, it's it's I get to be creative on both sides. Of I was going to ask you, do you have to uh, compartmentalize between the two or three really, different things that you do? Not really, because at the end do? of the day, it's storytelling. Yeah. You know, I do music, film, and I do interactive, you know, consulting with creative um, entities. And so it's all just storytelling to me. You know, um, when I do a song, it's, it's I got three or four minutes to tell a story. Cool. You know, and evoke as much emotion and imagery as I can. Cool. Yeah. I'm always in awe of songwriters because I've tried it and I'm not very good at it. And, uh, yeah, you know, awesome. I've have many, many tell me that it takes, you know, you have to write a hundred until you get one that's good. No, it's, it's true. I mean, I, I feel like the last five years I've been writing the best stuff 
I've been writing, but I've been songwriting for most of my life. So. Yeah. Does it get easier? Yes. Oh, good to know. It does get easier, <laughs> yes. Yes, when you get inspired. And you also know what's what's good and what's not good. You know, I have songs I'm like, well, no, I'm not going to produce that because that's, yeah. um, in some cases, I can pitch it to someone else and they're like, oh, my God, that's I'll, I'll sing that. But, right. um, but for me, I, I know it's not, it used to be, oh, is, it, is this good enough to, to to release to national radio or not and you have to do the focus groups and blah 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 blah, blah. so now yeah. it's it's a lot easier yeah it takes a, a lot of the fun out of it when you get into the market yeah you know yeah. you have to figure it out i mean you know my thing is i just write as many singles as i can yeah. <laughs> on my my record so there's no b-size as they you know that's an old term but so anything that you know the label or whoever i'm, I'm dealing with decides to, to release i'm going to be happy with good yeah pete stringfellow live in the studio you ready isabel you're okay. ready. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got two cameras on me. Oh boy. You want to do another tune for us? Yeah, absolutely. And this is the Santa Rosa tune. This is the Santa Rosa tune. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, this is a, a tune uh, that's been around um, a few years, and um, it did really well on radio and sold many units, over hundred thousand units. I'm proud to say. Um, but what happened was when this came out, people were playing it, and and people were. I mean, the the. Goodness sakes! The messages that come through, I, it's hard not to get emotional. You know, yeah. they're thinking of it as things were going down. My head, my in their head, they were playing my song and getting emotional. So, you know, like I said earlier, I, I made it free right away. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to let people mm -hmm. heal with this, and uh, it's been it's been really really awesome. So. I worked as a consultant on the um, Oliver's Food Collection of the local musicians, yes. and you donated I'm on that, that song. To I that, did that yes. one of the compilations. Yes, yeah. it's, it's very cool. So I'm just one of the lucky guys to have been a part of something that's kind of become the anthem of the, uh, of the city. So. Pete Stringfellow, live in the studio. Just a little north of the Golden Gate by the rolling hills Growing grapes are where the sun will chase the fog away Down a couple blocks to the right is where Charlie Brown sleeps at night and that Snoop Dogg still dreams away the day, yeah. We'd ride our bikes in the summer heat, hump crawl ads in the county creek, then hit the hay barn to play hide and seek. Santa Rosa, your bruises and final wine run through this blood of mine and the, the road I, I'm on is taking me to Tennessee my home will always be Santa Rosa yeah 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 we were in the van to push your high upon a one Took Shiloh, just having fun on a summer day, late afternoon. I went in Berlin from Piner High, I waved us down and said, I need a ride. Well, there's a party on the beach, let's all go to. Then a timber cool, she took my hand, and we left down on the cool night sand. Boy, it's taken years to understand Santa Rosa. And final wine run through this blood of mine. And though the road I, I'm on is taking me to Tennessee, my home will always be Santa Rosa. Now he has some kids and the Cause on the road the years fly by It's hard to get back But I've gotta try Santa Rosa You bruise him fine a wine Run through this blood of mine And though the road I, I'm on Is taking me my home will always be It keeps taking me to Tennessee But my home will always be 
Santa Rosa. Pete Stringfellow. I think I needed to hear that this morning. So Thank good you. job. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Pete is here along with Kate Magdalena and along with Mimi Perard and Chris Hagen. They're going to be performing at Hot Monk in Sebastopol Wednesday night. The final, sadly to say, songwriters in the round that John Gonzalez has put together. He's taking a break. He needs to, uh, you know, pay attention to the family and his, yeah, and his career. In his career. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, one thing that I find that um, I love about this particular series is that the majority of the people in the audience are other songwriters. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So um, it's a very communal sort of um, nice feeling because everybody's very supportive yeah. of everybody else because they know how hard it is to get up there all by yourself and tell the story behind the songs. Yeah, I can hide behind my band usually. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I'm in the moon unless I clam up. No one heard it. Yeah. You know, everyone's here partying. And then you just, when you do singer songwriter stuff, when you're doing the, which I love, uh, this, actually, this is the first songwriters in a round I've done here. It's usually. Oh. A Bluebird Cafe or mm-hmm. somewhere in Nashville or somewhere else. So this is I'm excited to do it in my hometown. And all locals. All locals. It's yeah. great. All the all the folks on stage. It's yeah. gonna be great. So it's Wednesday night at Hot Monk and Sebastopol. Get your tickets in advance at hotmonk.com. You can buy them at the door and all the proceeds are going to the Redwood Credit Union Fire Recovery Fund. Yes. So um it gives you an extra incentive to go out on Wednesday night and have yourself a beer and see Abs- some. Absolutely. And um, folks who want um, to download the song Santa Rosa, you can for free. Just go to SantaRosaStrong.com. That's great. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Good job. Much. Appreciate it.